it's Kemi and I am doing something kind of funny. So I have had a lot of people ask me how I do my hair, which is funny to me because sometimes I think I'm still stuck in the 80s with ratted hair, big hair. Big hair is my thing, man, and I just can't get out of it. So I know and I want to know things about people. I love when they share. And so even though I feel silly doing this and I don't know, how I think it's funny that people want to learn from me because I'm not a professional. I don't do anything in a professional way. A hairstylist might. I don't know if Susan's watching, but I don't know how happy she'll be with how I treat my hair. Okay, I'll be honest, I don't treat my hair well. Although I kind of do. I try, I've been trying lately because I've been wanting my bangs to grow out, and that is why I pull it up like this because. My little baby bangs take forever to grow. And I think I've, I've started to just be very kind to them and treat them with love and respect. So I wanted to share with you how I do my little updo. That's what I've had. It's not an updo, okay? I'm saying it like I think I know what I'm talking about. And I really don't. This is what I'm, I'm I've had people ask me, how do you pull your hair up on top like I do? I'm just using a, I don't even know what this is, the HS1. I think I will link it. Just any straightener, doesn't matter. I have brushed out my hair. This is how I do it almost every day. And the reason, like I said, that I have pulled it up lately a lot is because I just, I'm not used to having these bangs fall in my face all the time. And so I wanna do something with them. Well, I start by pulling back right above my ears and I just clamp it to get it out of the way. And then I like to straighten because you know at night when you sleep on it, you get kinky hair. And so I just like to straighten it and I do it really fast. I'm just rounding it as I go and I do it fast because I have it on a high, high setting and I don't want it to burn my hair. So then I do it in the back. I do it in thirds, just like that. Two times really fast. It just, you see how it kind of leaves it, leaves it rounded. And then I do it on this side too. And it just takes out all the kinks out of your hair. It just kind of makes it rounded and gives it a good start. Okay, so then I take it out and I go about, I don't know, about that much above my head. Go to the back. Lock it in. And then I do the same thing here. And I just go really fast, just enough to get the kinks out. But then what I do, after it kind of dries a second, is I pull it straight up, and then I just back comb a little. Back comb a little bit, give it a shot. Something's wrong, hold on. And my hairspray was, I don't know. My, hair, my hairspray was a little bit clogged. Okay, so then I do it again. Like right here, just round it, round it. And then I just back comb a few times and then spray it so it looks beautiful. And then I just do it in the back. Hold on. So then I do it right back here. You have my heart, you have my soul, you have my whole, you have my control. Love me tender, love me. Okay, so now can you see how that looks? Funny, funny, but it gives it body and that's what I love, big hair. So then after it dries for a little bit, you just pull it down like that. Okay, so then what I do is I just take it and I do the top piece. I take up a top piece like that. So I kind of have the bottom under my ears and then I have one two and three sections. So this one, I do the same thing. Oh, gosh. So I just round it out, round it out, and then I keep my hand there, lift it up. I just kind of back comb it a little bit, spray it. I don't know. It's been, I like to go a long time without yeah, I just back comb it. I just back comb it at the bottom and then I just spray that back combed part. Does that make sense? And then let's see. Okay, so then I find what I do in the back. It hasn't been done in the back. So I just do it in threes. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of hair, so I can do it in threes. 
and I just round it. Do you see how I'm doing that? I'm just rounding it. Keep my hand there, just like that. And then I pull it up and then just back home the bottom. Do a good spray, one or two sprays, whatever. And then I just kind of flatten it, pull it down, just so it doesn't look too awfully bad. And sometimes I'll let it dry, like I'll, you know, air it out a little bit, let it dry, see how that looks in the back. And I just pull it right down so that it doesn't look too weird. Okay, then I start this section. So this is all that's left. And I will go to the very back, start back here, and I'll just take a little section from the back. And I'm just kind of used to how much to do. Oh, I didn't brush it out super well. Pull it straight up. I do the same thing and I just kind of twist my arm. So that's what I'm doing is just kind of twisting like this. Can you see that? Just kind of twisting and rounding it out. And then I back comb, back comb a little bit. Spray. Drop it. And then I do it again. Just about this much more. Can you see that's maybe an inch? No, I don't know, maybe just that much. So it goes to about the middle of my head, the top of my head. And I do the same thing here. And I'm kind of taking it down and rounding it. Do you see how I'm doing that? Hold it. Woohoo! Someone needs to have her roots done! I like to drag it out as long as I possibly can. Okay, then the rest, I, the rest I do, um, if, it's, if it's a brand new head of hair, then I will take this in half and I will bring this forward and just really quickly bring it forward like that but it's not a brand new head of hair and so what I mean by that is if it's been recently washed but if it hasn't been recently washed and it's been a while I'll just do all this whole front section like this that way my front little wispy bangs don't get all the heat but if it's if my hair is brand new and washed I will divide it into halves and I will do this part first and I'll just do it really quick and fast so that those little wispy tender little bangs don't get burned then you can either pull it forward I like to straighten this out like this and you just pull it down you know nothing fancy okay now I have a cowlick so my hair automatically kind of goes to the side right there See, if I parted it down the middle, it would do this weird thing. It just kind of goes over that way. It doesn't stay, it's always in my face. And so I just do what it tells me and make it easy on myself and go with my part. Okay, this isn't all. <laughs> then, even though I have ratted those little bits, I do like to take my pick and just kind of Fluff it up around here a little bit, even in the back. Just lightly, and then I brush it out with my fingers, kind of. Do it on the other side. Just give it a little bit of um, body, and then brush it out with my fingers. So, depending how my hair looks, this is where it gets interesting because depending on how my hair looks right now I will either leave it like this and just go out like that which is fine but do you see how my bangs are kind of right there in my face or if I don't love it then I pull it up which is what I do most of the time then I come in the back and I just kind of straighten out any funky funky places. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that's kind of what it looks like. So some days I will just leave it like that 
and so I could totally just leave it like that if I wanted to but I will show you how I and remember that I have a lot of texture in this hair so this is several day old hair but I will take a regular elastic just like that and I will just take this much of my hair so about between my eyebrows on each side and about not very far towards the back maybe halfway on my head right there Hold on. then I will just make a ponytail but I don't pull it all the way through I kind of make a loop right there did you see that and I do it over about three times so it's just kind of a mess and I usually have parts and pieces sticking out, which I love. And I pull the front down a little bit. Can you see that? Then I, of course, give it a little shot all the way around because I do like the body around here. For some reason, I feel like if I can have some body around my ears, my face doesn't seem as fat. <laughs> round, not fat. Okay, then if I'm happy with it, if I'm not happy with it, I just kind of Fluff it out the back a little bit. It's not as big on top as sometimes I like, so sometimes I will pull this out. And as I do that, as I keep pulling it out, then it just kind of starts to go everywhere. So just pull it and fix it however you like. I do like to pull it out this way a little bit, just so that it's not straight flat on the head. I kind of like to have a little bit puffed up right there, if that makes sense. And that's it. And then if you need, feel like you need more body around here, one thing I do love, first of all, let me tell you my all time all-time favorite hairspray is Kenra, and I use the number 25. I buy it in the big, huge bottle all the time. I will link it below because it is rated number one like for years in a row. And then another thing that I love, I absolutely, absolutely love this Kenra Dry Texture Spray. This is what I use like when my hair is fresh and clean and I can't really, you know, I don't have all this texture. I will just spray it like this. Whoops. See, I'm out, I'm out. But it just, you just spray it and it kind of gives you texture without, you know, I don't know. It just gives you texture without having to rat it all the time. So on fresh, clean hair, I do love that. Um, anything else that I do love? Oh, yes. If you are one who can't go for very long, without washing your hair if you get greasy we have tried a lot of dry shampoos but this one is my all-time favorite i love it love it love it love it love it and what i love about it is it doesn't leave a film like that you can see in your hair and it smells so so good i can't smell it this way but when you spray it on you it smells so so good and you know we've tried a lot and and this one is our favorite so there you have it that's how to do the pineapple hairdo that's what rick calls it my my pineapple on top okay, i hope that helps and i hope those of you who have been asking are pleased with this video if you want to see any more let me know i'm happy to help and i'm happy to share even though i am not the person to be doing these, but thank you. It's a compliment to me. So I will see you again.